In this video, I'm going to draw a simple bowl of soup and then color it neatly using my color pencils. So it's important that we draw it lightly so that if we make mistakes, it's easy to erase them without leaving any marks. So next I'm going to draw a line which shows my soup. Now remember we do not fill the soup till the top which means there's going to be a line like this. So this is the soup and this is the inside of the bowl. So I leave a sample picture on top left so that you can see what I mean okay now I'm going to add some designs on my bowl some simple lines Then I'm going to even out my bowl a little more. Next, my light source is coming from top left, which means my shadow is going to be on this side. So I'm going to draw a little oval shape representing my shadow like this and then this is going to be my horizon horizon line So my drawing is going to be as simple as this. Next I'm going to neatly color it. So before coloring I would like to take off my lines which I don't need and I'm using my kneaded eraser but you can use your regular eraser if you don't have this. I'm just gonna make it neat. Think that's good so also before coloring I do not want this many this much of background so I am going to reduce my negative space by just keeping this much area
now I'm going to color it. So as from my sample picture, my bowl is white and my soup is yellow. And this is going to be purple and the background on the wall is black. So I have chosen my colors. And you have to always make sure that your pencils are nice and sharp. So step one, I'm going to color my bowl. So my bowl is white, but I'm going to use a little bit of gray. If you don't have gray, you can just use your pencil very lightly. So I am looking at my sample picture and I can see the rim of my bowl. So I'm going to draw it with my gray. So when I'm going to do my details, I always use my tip. And when I do my larger radius, I try to use the side if I want to color smoothly. And if I want to have some texture, I'll use my tip. So next i am going to use my black to do these designs because these are black And there's my design on the bowl. The rest of my bowl is just gray, white. So I'll just outline it with my gray. Now, if I watch closely, this area is a little darker inside. So here, when I color, I do not want it to be smooth. It's like a little shade. So I'm using my tip and making these lines. And I'm cross hatching like this. And as I go towards this end, it gets lighter. I'm using less and less pressure as I move to the other side. And then I'm going to uh, make it a little more dark. And I'm going to stop. Next I'm going to color my smooth soup and I'm going to keep it smooth. Which means I'm going to use my sides like this. And if I use my sides like this, they do not leave any lines. So, this is my way to color when I want to keep it smooth. Now I can see some white spaces. So I go back and this time I'm going to color this way. 
so I'm not always coloring from left to right I went like this actually I went along the shape of my bowl and now I'm going this way And I can see that there is a little bit of soup stain on the side. So I'm going to add that too. So you can add more or less de details depending on how much you want to work on it. And there you go. I'm not going to do much more on my bowl maybe I'll just fix my designs make sure that your color pencils are always sharpened when you're doing these details lightly I'm going to outline these bottom part Next, I'm going to do my table. So, I'm going to start in one direction. I'll go like this. And again, this is a big area, so I can go by putting my edges. But still, my pencil is sharp, so I have all this area that I can color. And if I have some leftover space, I'll go again and I'll color it. You have to be careful when you're going along the edges. Next, I'm going to add my shadows. So, this is the shadow mark that I had made. So, I am using the same color. Now, this time I'm going to use my tip and I'm going to hatch. cross hatch so my pencil wasn't sharpened so I sharpened it again so that it the tip is strong and sharp
so when i'm adding my shadows it is okay to have these make use of the tip to help it darken This is how it looks. This is the lighter area. And this area is darker. Next I'm going to use black to do my background. Again I'm going to use my sides but being careful when I'm around Now, to make the background a little more darker, I am going to layer it with another violet color. Again, I am going to use my sights.
now uh, the, another way to layer colors is also going in circular motions so that you fill up all the white spaces and the pigments kind of blend in So once you are satisfied with your drawing, you can fine tune it more by creating these edges neatly. One more time. And now we are done.